Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of Austria and Germany. Yeah, I was about to skip it when I said, yeah, international break is calm coming up. So uh, it's I better do it. And, you know, uh, since work at the moment is just quite frustrating, it's better to just get this video out of the way. There's anyway, I mean, uh, in a way, uh, not much has happened, especially in Austria, uh, where, you know, I think Austria will be on the top level. A carnage for second spot between four teams uh, and it's basically whoever gets uh, to play Salzburg will go down and whoever gets to play Klagenfurt will move up and so it happened this time to time again and then there will be a whole lot of draws so um, there and I don't know yet where the qualification group will go I mean at the moment Lusk has a sizable lead already despite only getting four points I'm missing so yeah uh we'll talk about that in germany i gotta say uh the most interesting part there is um yeah uh, it's typically dortmund um one day maybe that's Hitler. no there's not uh, so this uh took back and forth into no title race but i think that the uh, relegation uh really really got fire fired up and it's one felix magat who wasn't even on the bench that more or less turn around at Hertha you see them up there he's getting a huge win over Hoffheim which came a little bit out of nowhere so uh, and also with Stuttgart coming back to win it all uh, to uh, to win the game not not win, 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 win it all uh, two teams that uh, just a couple of weeks ago I said they might be down they're actually gaining now the momentum to get themselves out of the trouble at least momentarily but I would say uh, very briefly Austria, I, I, I understand you, I mean the one game that I watched was Lusk's nil-nil against Hartberg where yeah if you convert, if you don't convert your chances you're not gonna get points, Hartberg was just too weak, clearly uh, you were tired from uh, playing Slavia Prague blah 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 but it shouldn't be really an, an excuse. However thanks to Reed losing to last place Altach and an Altach team that is really really um, in many ways already the um, designated relegation candidate although now it's you know only two two two, two points to two to your role it's a big loss for reed so uh lask have now a two-point lead over reed and they will play the derby uh the after the international break so that might actually uh, be this pre-decider of who will play those um yeah, conference league playoffs up top, as I said before, um, we had Sturmgratz winning against Clark, Klagenfurt, so they are back in second spot. We had Salzburg, who, ah, I didn't mention the cup, uh, Salzburg, rather, um, I don't want to say lucky, but it was a bit fortunate to uh, get um, an equalizer at Wolfsburg, so there was two games in Wolfsburg where uh, Wolfsburg took an early lead, but Salzburg then uh, found a way, way back, maybe it deserved the equalizer and then won in the penalty shooter to make it to the final where they play against Reed. And yeah, we have another title for Salzburg. So Salzburg gets really, really, really boring at the moment. Uh, however, the league game went completely the other way. I mean, Salzburg just steamrolled Wolfsburg in every uh, way. It was 3-0 at the halftime. I... <laughs> There's <laughs> not, not much more that can be said there. And so Sturmgast winning against Klagenfurt and then the big Vienna Derby ends in a 1-1 one, one tie. What do you want? Uh, early goal by Ljubicic is swiftly equalized by Juricin and that was that. And uh, the interesting part is that Juricin is the son of former Rapid coach Juricin who actually left in kind of acrimonious circumstances. So I'm sure he was happy that his son exacted some revenge there. I think that's all I need to say about Austria. Uh, as I said, it's for the Euro for the European spots. It's very, 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 very much a tug of war for those Europe uh, uh, between those four teams, and one of which will probably play or uh, two, potentially two of which could play a playoff uh, there as well. Okay, moving over to Germany, we actually started out the round with a scandal. Um, it seems almost so atypical. Ah, I didn't mention. Dortmund won in Mainz. Dortmund won in Mainz. So uh, that's a big one. So you thought at that point maybe we have a title race. Nah. Nah. 
it was never gonna happen. So, uh, having said that, we start out with the scandal that a uh, very atypical German, German uh, beer cup is thrown. So they are wasting beer now in Germany uh, at the Bochum Gladbach game, and it was two two nil for Gladbach. And Bochum actually tried to rally it up. Uh, the beer uh, cup hits the linesman on the back of the head, which is automatic suspension of the game. And Bochum actually even said before the game, please do not throw. Please do not throw because objects have been thrown. Uh, so this has been a problem that has been identified by, by the club. But they couldn't really police it, which I find uh, really, really so sorry. I mean, the linesman had to go go to the hospital. At, at first, you thought, yeah, maybe he makes it, but seemingly, you know, head injuries not not in play uh, with. At the moment, I have not accounted for this um, for the result of the, of these games in any of my calculations um, that I will mention. However, uh, I would be dumbfounded if this game is not a three 0 for Gladbach. So uh, that's that. Uh, as I said, uh, rele relegation, I a little bit regret not wa 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 watching the German Bundesliga uh, conference because there was actually quite some action, but I saw the lineup and thought, nah, it's not really that. But uh, Augsburg twice had the lead uh, with a um, um, uh, 44th minute equalizer and then Gregorisch immediately, just straight for her, turns to a 2 2 for Augsburg. But Stuttgart again, they already came back against Gladbach, 2 2 him down. They do it, do it again in the 79th and in the 85th, fifth turn, 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 turn around. So a big win for Stuttgart and they get for the first time in a long time out of the relegation zone with, with, with the win. Uh, level points with Augsburg and as it turns out turn, Hertha, so those are all now 20, uh, 20 26 points. However, Stuttgart has the, um, just by more goals scored, they're just ahead of Augsburg. I mentioned Hertha 3 0 over uh, Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim is another mixed bag. I mean, one day they make great results, the other day they are rather disappointing. So yeah, 3-0 um, losing to Hertha, a Hertha team that has been free fall. Yes, Felix Marco Marksbeck was, was his assistant that actually coached them to, to the win. And also Hertha out of the rally relegation zone. Where now we find Bielefeld who lose to Mainz 4-0. All four goals were penalties. What a crazy game that was. And amazingly, um, there were no... Um, oh no, three goals were penalties. Three goals were penalty. The first, the first one through Booker in the first, first minute was not a penalty. But the final three goals were all penalties. And Mainz have not missed a penalty in like forever. This is another one of those crazy, crazy stories. And Bielefeld, who I thought just a month ago looked rather safe. And that's why I actually want to go for a jersey of theirs. Uh, look, man, deep trouble. I still like that one jersey. However, uh, they are definitely in trouble at this very, very moment. Um, an another rally relegation candidate, although I think it's a little bit too late, uh, Greuterfurt get a nil-nil against Freiburg, which hurts Freiburg a whole lot more because I, despite them having given Le a Leipzig a run for the money, I just don't think that Freiburg can hold it with Le Leipzig with both teams of 45 points. Bayern though, and I'm wearing Bayern, not because they are the um, the best team from the from this week. As actually, actually Bayern should be with the Ukraine jersey, but I thought uh, the way the jerseys work work out is best if I um, wear this Bayern shirt. <laughs> In many ways, not that I like like doing, but uh, like a machine. Level Lewandowski keep, keeps on piling on two more goals. I think he is now a. Um, 11 shy of beating his record so that might actually be happening and as i said union also have been a little bit going downward as of late and there were quite quite a few games on sunday where uh, leipzig also uh, that was a labored uh, um, draw between leipzig and frankfurt but uh, frankfurt also gaining a little bit of steam leverkusen no trouble with uh wolfsburg 2-0 two, two and then Köln and dortmund play out uh, entertaining one one draw where Dortmund definitely should have scored a few more goals and maybe get the win, but it's um, Köln, who again, with their high intensity, Köln is at the moment a really, really fun team to watch. It was 1-1, and then um, they dug in, they fought it. It could have gone either way. I think the draw maybe overall is deserved, although the Giants were a little bit more with Dortmund. And so, yeah, 
the teeny bit of chance we see again six points between Dortmund and Bayern up top so that's decided I even think that the top four at the moment are, 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 are the top four uh, Leverkusen 89% Leipzig 70% and it's only small chances Freiburg with 17 and Hoffmann with 21 to make it into the Champions spot and then you know few minuscule was with Köln, Frankfurt, Union and Mainz but I don't really see it but those are the only ones that can have hopes for Europe everything below that and starts with Bochum and I think Bochum still is safe that are in the relegation battle which really really gets tight I mean up until Gladbach with 30 um, it seems kind of tight and then 26, 26, 26, 25 it's four teams for one relegation spot and one that uh, one in the um, playoff <sighs> At the moment, Bielefeld don't look right. And that's a little bit pity because uh, it's definitely one of the, the second small scale. Kvirt is the small, the small scale. So there is a little bit sympathy for me going towards them and also having them having uh, quite a few uh, Austrian players and also a former last player in there. So yeah, that's what it from me from Germany. Please let me know what you thought about um, the happenings in, in this league. Um, as I said, the title race is off and it's more or less about relegation in Germany. Um, again, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!